This silent health issue is pretty common in cats, and unfortunately, it's usually detected when it's too late. HCM, short for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, can affect all cats, regardless of age. That's why it's crucial to detect it early enough so that your cat can get the proper care. In this video, I'll tell you the symptoms of HCM, how to detect it, and some available treatments. What exactly is HCM? HCM is the most common heart condition that can affect cats. It causes the thickening of the heart's left ventricle, which does most of the blood pumping. As a consequence, the heart cannot pump enough blood to the other organs. Additionally, the heart will struggle, as it will need more oxygen. This may cause heart cells to die, worsening heart function. Also, blood clots can form in the lungs or other heart chambers due to poor circulation. Sadly, these can cause heart attacks and congestive heart failure. And this is the worst part of HCM. Sometimes, the first symptom is a heart attack and death. And even if the cat survives the heart attack, its life expectancy isn't great at this stage. Usually, a cat diagnosed with congestive heart failure has a life expectancy of 6 to 18 months. For some reason, larger individuals and males seem to be more affected by HCM and more likely to develop severe symptoms early. Here's a list of the other symptoms associated with HCM. So how can you make sure to detect this health issue earlier? Well, there are two types of tests you can ask for. The first one is a genetic test that looks for HCM-specific mutations in cats. From my research, these only work for Maine Coons, Ragdolls, and mixed cats descending from these breeds. Other breeds are prone to this disease, but the mutations causing HCM in those cats haven't been identified yet. However, we know Maine Coons and Ragdolls are prone to HCM, so a genetic test can still be helpful if you know or suspect your cat comes from these breeds. A cat carrying two copies of the mutation is much more prone to developing this health issue. Sadly, in this case, the onset of the disease will most likely happen at a very young age. Cats carrying just one copy of this mutation are more likely than a non-carrier to develop the disease, but not by much. Unfortunately, even cats that don't test positive can get HCM. There might be some good news, though. A new study published in November 2020, done on Maine Coons, might have found another mutation associated with HCM. You can find this study in the description. However, I don't think there are available tests yet and more research is needed. But there is another option. You can ask your veterinarian to listen to your cat's heartbeat. If the vet detects any murmur, irregular heartbeat, or elevated heart rate, additional investigations will be required. HCM is detected through thorough physical examination, including blood pressure assessment, chest x-rays, an electrocardiogram, and an ultrasound examination of the heart. So make sure to ask your vet to listen to your cat's heartbeat. In this way, HCM can be detected before the onset of the more severe symptoms. You can also monitor your cat's breathing rate at rest or when sleeping. This is done by counting your cat's number of breaths over 30 seconds and multiplying it by two. Any number above 35 means the cat needs to be evaluated by the vet, but this isn't a diagnosis and cannot replace a periodic consultation. Now that we know how to detect it, let's learn what treatments your veterinarian might recommend. Firstly, it's necessary to understand there is no cure for HCM. However, the medication will slow down the evolution of the disease, increasing your cat's lifespan. The recommended treatment for cats with HCM varies according to the severity of the condition. The usual medication includes drugs that slow the heart rate and improve relaxation of the heart, drugs that thin the blood to prevent blood clots from forming, and diuretics to control abnormal fluid buildup. Each treatment is personalized according to the individual's needs. It's difficult to say how long your cat will live, but your vet can surely let you know. If you want to make sure you'll have the money for the medical bills, a great option is to get pet insurance. You can find links to the ones I recommend in the description. And now, let's see what cat breeds are more prone to developing HCM. Sadly, the following highly popular cat breeds are at risk of developing this health issue. That being said, some breeds aren't. This is by no means an exclusive list, so make sure to do your research before getting any breed. Unfortunately, non-pedigreed cats are also at risk of developing HCM. I always recommend adopting a cat, but if you're determined to get a specific breed, look for respectable breeders. These breeders test and scan their cats yearly and prevent affected cats from mating. Unlike accredited breeders, the backyard ones probably don't perform these tests. Make sure to avoid them and also avoid scammers posing as breeders. I'll make a dedicated video on how to tell if a breeder is legit, so subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And now, I really think you'll love this video in which I talk about another major problem in cats. See you there!